another upgrade. It looks like the Barringer, we upgraded from the 2XLR Barringer to the 4XLR Barringer and it seems Barringer is a bit shite to be honest. Every time the power cable on the Barringer moves, it loses power. So what we've done is we've gone to the extreme and we're basically just going to get the dog's bollocks. We're going to get the Yamaha, which is uh, a 4XLR USB mixer board with sound effects and better preamps than the Behringer. So if you're planning to take your audio seriously, you need to move to something more professional. And that's what we have right here. So the reason we've got this is one reason alone. Podcasting needs seriously clear audio because you're competing against people with great audio. We're slowly getting there, but we're still learning. So for YouTube video, live streaming, the Behringer was fine. But it's too much background noise and it's not fine tuned enough. Sometimes the levels are too high, sometimes they're too low. And it's trying to get finessing what you actually have. So with this now, we can actually have individual XLR cables going into each unit and we can control it. Better preamps, which means less noise, sounds more professional. A few sound effects, which you might not use, but it's an option there. And these, it's still an entry level MG10XU, but it's Yamaha. We had an R6, so why not get a Yamaha mixer board? Hyping tech, we're going to set this up. We're going to let you hear it. And let's see, let me show you actually what we have without. That's what we have at the moment there. It's a Behringer. We got four XLR mics plugged up top. Audio's levels are there. It's got a slider, but watch what happens. See that? Slight movement on the power cable and everything goes off. And that's the second Behringer board that we've got. Even though they sent it to us. Sorry guys, but it's not great. Uh, we're going to send it back to you. Uh, and yeah, so it'll basically give you an idea of what you need to do. Because the Yamaha one actually is better because the power cable has a screw on it. And it has a switch, so you can turn it on and off. The Behringer doesn't have a switch. So it's ridiculous, basically, is the outcome of that quick video to show you the upgrade hyping tech we're going to review it let you know more about it it's the mg10xu check out our other videos about our mixing and audio setup